My name is Mom Shiva Marcus. I'm with the Illinois State Water Survey, uh, and I'll talk about uh, future flood prediction uh, <clears throat> and uh, the difficulties and the challenges related to the flood predictions. And why why do we predict floods? We predict floods because there's a lot of damage based on floods, and accurate prediction will uh, save us uh, a lot of money. The damages. Uh, are around six to eight billion dollars per year at this point, and they, they have been growing. In addition, we have about 100 um, flood-related casualties every single year. So it's a, it's a very significant reason to study floods. <coughs> flood uh, risk is defined as a, a probability of flood times the impact of flood. Uh, this presentation will focus on the probability impact is calculated by the actuaries. Uh, we use a, a basic definition, a basic term, which is 100-year flood. 100-year flood is a flood that is uh, <coughs> equal or exceeded uh, on average once in 100 years. Uh, <coughs> we need to uh, accurately calculate that flood, because if you underestimate that flood, we're going to end up having flooding every year and huge losses. If we overestimate that flood, we'll end up building uh, structures that are unnecessary and therefore losing money. So it, accurate estimation of flood is, is extremely important. Uh, the flood calculations are pretty involved and complex, and I'm not going to go through these equations, but uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, uh, it, is, it is complex. It involves a lot of statistics and other, other <coughs> modeling approaches. And as a result, we just have a simple curve like this one, which is the frequency curve. It tells you for 100-year flood, what's the peak fl uh, flow at a certain river, or for 10-year flood, and, and similar. Uh, this simplicity doesn't mean that the flood calculations are simple. They are very uncertain. And the uncertainties range from the data uncertainties, observation, uh, aggregate, data aggregation, sampling variability, to the model. We use statistical models, but many other models. Uh, models have limitations. They have calibrations that are subjective. <coughs> the initial conditions are different. And I'm particularly going to focus on two issues one is the uh, non-stationarity of the past data, and the other one is the future climate. This is an example of non-stationarity of past data. If you look at the uh, barcode graph, it's the blue color indi indicates snowmelt-dominated wi winter flow regime, where the uh, white color is rainfall-dominated regime. So you see the climate change in action. You see uh, <coughs> uh, the hydrologic regime change in the last 100 years, which creates a, a special problem for hydrologists and statisticians to address. Uh, <coughs> in addition to the past uncertainty in data, there's a future uncertainty in data. The IPCC, uh, uh, according to the IPCC, the future climate is perhaps the most uncertain variable in future flood modeling. Uh, Jim Angel from the State Water Survey cr created some kind of chart that is analyzes the uncertainty, which is huge, as you can see. The future uh, precipitation can be anywhere. The extreme precipitation, which we're focusing on, can be even wider, can have even larger uncertainty. And we did a little test on precipitation, which is the major driving force for flooding. Uh, under two future climate scenarios, one is a high CO2 emission, one is low CO2, CO2 emission. And our results indicated a significant increase in northwestern part of the uh, Chicago area of 18% and decrease of 8% uh, in southeast. It's still very uncertain. And the uh, uh, hydrologic uh, extremes related to these two are even higher. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, a, a general conclusion could be that the floods that are, are still uns are uncertain are becoming more uncertain. So if you look at the chart in the lower right corner, the gray chart says predicted range, uh, and, and, and that's the range that we have right now. The future climate brings more uncertainty, so we can give it, and we should give it a higher uh, uncertainty range. That's the predicted range. So as somebody said, the, the future is not what it used to be. Now the conclusions, flood damages are conti going to continue increasing. Floods are becoming more, more uncertain and the calculations are becoming more complex and therefore more important. Thank you.